Hope you're all doing well. Let's slap a face on me. Oh, that's looking better. That'll do. Okay, let's start with a little meditation here. I'm just going to put my hand on my heart here. Welcome in. Thank you for following if you're new. Um, I'm going to start with a little meditation and then I'm going to go into the Akashic Records uh, for our group. And uh, hello, Maria. Welcome in. I'm also going to do some paid readings outside of my subscribers. Um, and I'm going to go with $30. So you can either pay, hello, Jennifer, you can pay either through my PayPal or uh, you will also, hello, Happy New Year, you will also find uh, underneath my shop um, the, the $30 reading there. Okay, so two different options. Again, as a subscriber, you always get a free message. Um, longer ones than others. And uh, yeah, so that'll give you an option. Um, I'd like to do some 2024 readings. So um, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So um, if you want, don't want a 2024 reading, that's fine. But that's kind of something I'm opening up to doing. Okay, so we're going to start off. And Maria, you're going to be first on my list, okay? So paid people get uh, first dibs. Uh, subscribers are the next. And as a subscriber, you usually get, not usually, you will get priority over someone that's getting a, f a free reading, okay? Um, yeah, so it's $30 or you can subscribe. I was already on doing uh, a bunch of free readings, so... Yeah, so if you are subscribed, you will find the um, the word heal beside your name. And if you want to subscribe, you click the star in the corner. Okay. So just grounding ourselves, taking a moment here, taking a few deep breaths. Just allowing yourself to come into a state of relaxation. Hello. Often we don't take enough, and Happy New Year, we don't take enough time to just ground ourselves. So, um, as I said, I'm going to go into the Akashic Records for everyone here, which is your past, present, and future. So, when we're giving messages, that will, that will allow uh, everyone to benefit, okay? So, different ways that we can ground our energy is simply just, again, taking a deep breath. And then letting it exhale. Okay, drawing all the energy up. And then letting it go. And if this is the only time that you take deep breaths, maybe just really inhale. And then what you might find is that you're able to maybe hold your breath longer if you draw your energy in. And lengthening your exhale, okay, drawing all the energy in. Holding it for a little bit longer if you can. And then really taking your time as you exhale. And then I'm going to invite you to close your eyes here. Where it is New Year and today is day one of 2024. I feel like it's important to let, like, set some intentions. If you've done that already, that's great, but sometimes it's important. Hello, Justin, I'm gonna write your name down here. Sometimes it's important to, hello, Happy New Year. Um, visualize, thank you very much. Visualize what it is that, that you want to bring in as well. And what will happen is we can set intention by using visualization. But then we can also, just by using our third eye, look into our future. And so I'm going to invite you to do either of those things. So you can pick something that you want to, to see and allow your mind to explore that. So this is a little bit of a third eye exercise and a clairvoyant exercise just to get you thinking in that direction of new and future. 
Okay, hello, welcome in Lorraine. So we're just we're just doing a little breathing here, getting grounded. I'm gonna go into the Akashic Records for everyone here. Thank you very much. Readings are $30, so you can uh, pay through my PayPal or through my shop, or you can also subscribe if you want a quick message and you get a reading every single time, okay? I was already on doing um, free readings as well. So I'm here to, to also offer those paid 2024 readings. Again, it, it doesn't have to be 2024 if you have something that you, uh, you know, want to ask that sort of thing. So as we close our eyes, I'm still going to invite you to uh, think about your dreams, your passions, and your goals. Dreams, passions, goals. And as you open up to the sensation of what it would be like to have these dreams or goals, just be open to exploring what pops through in your third eye. So for myself, I'm seeing a tree. And so I'm encouraging you not to analyze this process, okay? We're just doing a little grounding exercise. You can pay $30 by using my PayPal or my sh you can go to Horseman Readings under my shop. That's all in my link tree in my profile, okay? Or you can subscribe. And so I was seeing a tree. Now I'm seeing a tree house, okay? Regardless, I'm seeing nature. And for me, when I see this tree house, I'm also exploring, okay, trees are grounding, trees are nature. A tree host is playing, being childlike. So just encouraging you to do the same. Feel free to share what you see. I also see ocean waves, rivers. To me, a river represents being able to go with the flow, allowing life to just kind of unfold more naturally. So your goals don't have to be specific items. It could be as simple as what I'm just suggesting, going with the flow, having more playful time. And I think what I'm going to do here is as we go into the Akashic Records, I'm also going to share what I see for you guys, okay? So relaxing our bodies now, taking a deep breath, relaxing the mind, taking a deep breath. Letting go of the ego and all judgment in this space. I'm going to go into the Akashic Records for our group here. Setting the intention to get insight for 2024. And anything else that will be supportive for us at this time. So on one side I'm seeing that there are some people who um, are having a hard time letting go of their past. And also some people who are in denial. So maybe something to work on, for sure. So how can we let go of our past? The big thing is forgiving other people and ourselves. Also, it's okay if things from your past are coming back up. Because that is essentially how we let go of the past. It's not by ignoring the past. It's allowing the past to come up through your dreams, uh, through your emotions, and recognizing, okay, this is coming up, so I can release it. Often we'll shun energy away. No, you're in the past. I don't want to deal with you. When we need to bring in the past to let go of the past. So I feel like there's someone that needs to hear that as well. Also picking up on a tremendous amount of anxiety, so there might be someone in here who also um, is not a deep breather, which is interesting because I'm encouraging that for some people, okay, so just as relating to that. Um, I'm also feeling like I'm connecting to a grandmother as well, um, so you might find uh, this year you're in need of more love, or more love is going to be coming in. But 
mine went out. Okay, interesting. Um, so make sure that you're also connecting to your talents and your dreams, okay? Because I feel like sometimes we're in jobs and careers and doing things that aren't making us happy because we're not, thank you very much, we're not pursuing the things that we're good at or that we're meant to be pursuing. And so I can be guilty of that at times where I feel like I know what I'm meant to be doing, but then it's just getting myself to do it, right? So you might find that motivation is what's troubling you, you know, and asking yourself a little bit more of what do I need to do to get motivated to accomplish some of these things. So just some food for thought, okay? Let's pull up a few cards for 2024, and then we're going to go into Maria if she's still here, and then Jess and any other subscriber that pops in or anyone who wants to subscribe. And again, these are also paid readings outside of subscribers, so they're $30 Canadian, okay? And you'll see that in my link tree. You can purchase it through either my store or you can send through PayPal, okay? So what do we need to know for our group? So we're in everybody's record, which just means past, present, and future. So you'll find that you're gonna connect to a lot more here when I do this. I hope that you're having a relaxing day or evening. I really felt that resonated with me. Perfect, yes. Many people will feel that way when we go into the records. Okay, so we have two of fire here, all right? And so one of the things that's coming through here is we're in planning mode, and that's great. It's good to be in that mindset, but we have fire here, which talks more about problem solving as well. It feels like this card, it says you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. And this just feels like when, when we're um, focusing on problem solving, it's thinking outside of the box, right? How can we move through this? How can we move through that? But how can we do it in a way that's fun, right? Um, as you guys were seeing me going into the Akashic Records, to me that's fun, right? I actually like doing these things. Um, so maybe if you can see, like, for instance, if you're looking to lose weight and you hate exercising or you, hello, Kim, happy new year, and you um, hate eating healthy, then again, what's the outside of the box thing that you can do, right? How can you make it fun? Do you, do, do you and your partner um, want to do that together, right? Do you want to start walking together? Do you, Can you exercise and do things that are fun? Do you like to swim? Do you like to play sports? Do you like laughing yoga or goat yoga or whatever it is? So I think what's coming through here, I'm feeling, is that sometimes we're setting goals, but we're doing things because we feel like we should or because somebody else is telling us to do it or because it's quote unquote healthy. And so I would say just make sure that when you are doing some of this goal setting, and again, January 3rd, I have an, a, an event where I'm helping people through theta healing as well as doing group readings over Zoom. I highly recommend joining me in there. It's something I'd like to continue doing so we can have more group settings. But Yes, goals have to be aligned with you, right? It has to be something that you want to be doing for you. Otherwise, your likelihood of being successful is, right? And spirit will um, guide us to what it, is, what it is that we need. But it's up to us to kind of put the wheel in motion, right? And so I think there's someone on here who might be struggling with the action steps of like, yes, I'm going to do this, but it's like, you know, it feels like it's like, well, what's blocking you? What's blocking you from, I feel like it's just motivation. That's what's coming up. You know, what's blocking you from actually achieving? And, you know, have you tried these goals in the past and you weren't successful? And if so, why or why not, right? If you lost weight in the past, what were you doing? And also, why did you go back to your old habits, right? If it's quitting smoking or drinking or whatever it is. You know, you drink and smoke for a reason. You eat shitty food for a reason. So the problem solving comes up is trying to uncover the layers of why we have these unhealthy patterns of behaviors, if that makes sense. I think there's someone in here who might have like big goals or big dreams and 
my encouragement would be to, to just take it take it easy and kind of enjoy the ride at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So allow yourself a little bit of comfort instead of going through all these changes without feeling like you have the comfort or the skills or the tools to actually do it, right? It's a lot of pressure and it's really hard on us too, okay? So yeah, um, yeah. All right, so let's get into um, Maria if you're there. If not, we're gonna go to Jess and then we're gonna go to Kim, okay? And readings are $30, okay? You can pay in my link tree. Hi, Kim. So, Jess, do you have a question? So I feel like Maria's not here. You say that to all the ladies, Sean. Jess, are you in there? If not, Kim, we're going to go to you, okay? Okay, Kim. So if you had a question, what would it be if um, not? We're going to go into your 2024 reading, okay? If you want your own 2024 reading sent to your email, you can also purchase it that way. As well as January readings and weekly, your weekly energy reading, okay? And I have an event January 3rd. So Kim, I would love to have you join us. Just starting a little bit more of a community where we can have some live and interactive things outside of my membership group. I don't have any questions. Okay, so one thing you have here is we're in everybody's records here, which means you're going to relate to this more. Um, it's January 3rd, so that's Wednesday, 7 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, and it's $29. Okay, You can book online if you're interested. And then the replay you will also get, as well as the replay will be under pro and VIP membership, uh, our membership group in there as well. So our theme is six of air. All right. So six talks about balance, Kim, and also air talking about our mental health, our mindset, that sort of thing. And so things are looking up the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So as a theme card here for your 2024, um, You've got a lot of shifting and growth coming in, which is fabulous. So when I think about shifting, I think you're changing, right? You're going to be changing a lot throughout your year. And so just be aware that that's part of your your growth, right? And so sometimes when we're working with healers, we move really fast because we have that support. Um, and then it can be a little uncomfortable because we're moving too fast. We're moving outside of our comfort zone. So I would say for you to just steadily move forward and have a little patience with yourself at the same time. Okay, but there is big change and there is big growth. You also have the King of Water here talking about compassion, your empathy that you have for other people. Um, so this is really good for you to continue to, to progress in this kind of healer side that you have because I know that's something that you're interested in doing. We also have the sun card here for you and I'm hearing that there's a lot of blessings coming in for you in 2024 but I would definitely work more with the full moon if you're not working on it very much because that can kind of help you move a little faster because sometimes I feel like your energy is a bit stagnant like you want to move forward but you're something's holding you back or you have delays and things like that so I would just be mindful of that and then you also have the high priestess which is this intuitive side that you also have continuing to develop your skills in terms of like the third eye and having more aha moments and awakening moments my mom just passed I'm so sorry to hear sending you so much love so everybody let's send Kim some love that's really tough maybe I was feeling your energy Earlier today, I was feeling like whiffs of sadness, almost like depression. Yeah, so it would definitely be good for you to come in Wednesday. I've been working on my moon cycle, sending you love and light. 
Yeah. So those are your messages. Sending you so much love and happy new year. Losing mums. I haven't lost my mum. Uh, but I know my mother-in-law has been very, very sick. Um, and she's not doing very well. And, like, it's a something that happens to everybody. But I don't think you can ever really prepare yourself for that. No matter how hard you try. Um, and so we want to kind of find that balance. Happy New Year of um, preparing ourselves for loss, but also not believing that like bad things are going to happen either, right? So it's that balance of staying optimistic and being aware of our reality, right? And so a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs will live in this, not bubble, but like in this positive love and light a lot. Thank you very much. And I think it's important to recognize that we can't always be love and light. Life is not about that. It's about duality and loving yourself on all levels. So if we're trying to be perfect or trying to be positive, it's great to be positive. But again, that's not always our reality, right? So that's why I discuss mindset work so much. So that we can recognize when we are being negative, but also honoring what we're feeling when we're feeling it instead of being told like, oh, you're being negative, right? That's not, it's not realistic to not be negative. So uh, for some reason, that's, that's coming up for someone in particular. So Jess, oh, Sean, you stop that. <laughs> oh my. Oh, good old TikTok. All right, I hope everybody had an awesome New Year's Eve as well. I hope that you had a chance to maybe spend some time with somebody that you love or a friend or maybe you were just able to sit and reflect, maybe listen to some music, whatever it is for you. I'm just wishing you uh, all the best, okay? Happy New Year! So readings are $30, guys. You can pay in my link tree or you can subscribe if you'd like. I've already done lots of free readings. I was on here earlier. Something told me to come back on and do some paid ones and uh, see how everybody's doing. And uh, sometimes my subscribers are on at different times, so I also like to, to spread it out a little bit. All right. So Jess, you have life experience coming up here, okay? And so, Archangel Samuel, a significant life event, time to spread your wings. Um, and so I, I'm feeling really funny with you right now. I, I feel a lot of pressure in my head, a lot of tension. And um, I know you said it seemed like I was already doing a reading for you earlier when we were doing those, those group messages. But I just kind of get that you're on a little bit of a quest for more knowledge. I think that's been coming up for you before. Um, I feel like you're soul searching a little bit, um, but it does feel like you need to like allow yourself a little space and time while you do that. Okay. And it just feels like, yeah, there's a little pressure that you feel sometimes like I have to do this and I have to do that. And actually that's usually when things backfire is when you don't feel like things are flowing naturally. There's even pressure to do fun things, pressure to learn and stuff like that. And it's like, yes, this is a part of your path. It's good to do. But if you can just take the pressure off and make it fun and make it exciting, then that's it's your chance to find what's right for you. You know what I'm saying? So it, if you feel like other people are making decisions for you, that doesn't feel very great, etc. Yeah, you have the High Priestess card here. Also very much about that, that intuition. I'm learning more about that. But again, at your own pace. One of the things I like about my membership group that I have is that you go at your own pace. So you can cancel at any time. Um, you just pay You pay for the month um, and you watch at your own pace. So I notice I have people that, you know, they're in VIP. They don't always watch the full moon ritual. Um, they don't always watch the Thady healing downloads because they're busy. But then when they want to, they can. And I'm also doing this event on January 3rd, a group reading and uh, with Thady Healing to help people get on track. Um, but 
taking the pressure off for people to commit to my programs and things like that because I really want to make things affordable for people um, so that they feel like they can have support and money's not not the issue and also time is not an issue because if we feel like money and time is um, in the way of our healing journey then then that makes it rough you know because we're here to heal we're here to grow and so I would never want people to feel like they they uh yeah like that they're that they have to commit and that sort of thing so that might be coming through for you specifically because I know I don't like the feeling of having to do versus get to do I want to do this and so that's my entrepreneurial side as well where there where it can be a little rebellious and stubborn and we're creative and we're intuitive so if you feel like control is coming up for you if you're struggling with control that's definitely something I would start working on okay um because you don't need to be controlled but you st we still need to as we were already talking about be realist be realistic as well I've been needing to join that group yes Yes, but again, take the pressure off. Sometimes I feel like when people say, oh, I want to do this or I want to do that, and then they think I actually care that they didn't, you know? And I just trust that the timing of everything has to be right. Make sense? So don't stress, okay? Alrighty. So. Hello. All in the right time. Absolutely. And so I think if that could be your mindset for 2024, just like divine timing, trusting in that, I think it'll make it a lot easier for you. Because when I say sometimes like everything happens for a reason, it we can just say it, you know, people say that all the time. All right, Sean. I think it's time for you to boogie on out of here. I really appreciate the love, but we're here to help people <laughs> not talk about all the other crap, okay? Thank you. All right. I don't belong. Uh, if you're working on your spirituality, you are welcome to stay. If you're here for other reasons, I invite you to leave, okay? So... Paid readings, $30. We'll do some general messages here, okay? And you can just send some hearts if you relate to this. We went into the Akashic Records for our group. So you will find a lot of these messages um, are related to you. If you want to get on the list, you pay $30. Can you get it? Okay. So we've got the ego card here. One of the things that's coming through here is I'm hearing you can't stop me. You can't stop me. And so the reason why I feel like this is coming in is because you tirelessly work on doing this and doing that. But yet with the ego card, this is saying that and you're still having to deal with a bunch of bullshit. So you're doing this, then you're doing that, and you're still having to deal with it. So my invitation for you would be um, relax a little bit more you know, pull your energy inward just a tiny bit. Um, and then I feel like you also limit yourself at times as well. So it's like, okay, give yourself permission to do this. Um, so it feels like a little bit of self-criticism as well. So be cautious and careful of that when you're starting to, um, you can pull your energy in, but don't limit yourself too, too much either. So when I say pull your energy in at the beginning of this, I started with deep breathing, doing more of a like a visualization exercise. That's what I mean by pulling your energy inward, taking a few moments for yourself and just allowing yourself that little bit of rest and that little bit of peace. It literally takes like three minutes to do, right? We can do it right now. And so just keeping it a little simple. I think that's going to be everyone's... Um, Oh, distracted. Oh my god. All right, let's keep going here. Page of Earth. All right, I'm hearing playtime as well with this card. So, this tells me, um, again, there's a little bit of an inner critic coming in with you, but it's okay to have a little bit of an inner critic, right? 
in the sense that it's like, okay, we all, you know, we all can place judgments on ourselves. Um, so it's okay to have like a little bit of pressure. But what I'm getting here is like, just a, like a slight amount, right? So it's, it's when we're, it's when we're feeling like things are the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? And I, and that's more what I'm talking about. It, it feels like there's somebody here that they do make things feel or seem bigger than what they are. And um, that's what I was going to say before I got distracted, which, which is like to simplify. A lot of people for 2024 could use um, definitely more grounding. Uh, but the organization and the simplifying, I think it's going to be really helpful for a lot of people. I don't think we want to do 2023 over again, do we? No. So um, also, I feel like mediumship is coming up for someone in particular here. Um, so if, you've, if you're a medium yourself, um, it feels like it's a great year for you to uh, really take off in that in that business as well, okay? Then we have the Emperor card here, okay? Um, feel free to send a heart if you uh, relate to any of this, if you're finding this helpful. Thank you for the follow, Susan. This is really a strong masculine energy coming through here as well. Um, and the reason why I feel like this is coming up is this organizational logic, structure, and discipline leadership is because I think you could um, start a really big new chapter but you're minimizing yourself, right? So you know how some people say, don't let anybody dull your, your sparkle. It almost feels like you're dulling your own sparkle, right? So you could go bigger and you're, you're kind of like, oh no, I'll just stay over here. It's fine. And I know I do this to myself as well, where I know I can like really go deep into my mediumship, but then there's that little bit of fear creeping in and then it's like, oh, well, maybe I'll do this later, right? Um, yes, I do interpret dreams. I definitely do. So just being mindful of all of this stuff, for some reason it feels like there are some things here that people need to know. I have a dream interpretation workshop in my beginner level in my membership group, and I also have my signs and symbols program under my VIP. Again, you can watch that at your own time. I have tons of information about, like, not just dreams, but uh, numerology, um, how to kind of, like, read read into energy, right? Because that's all dreams are. Um, you have to pay $30, okay? Underneath my profile, you'll see my link tree. And when I see that payment, that's what I'm gonna, um, that's what I'm gonna call upon you. Also, um, I went into the Akashic Record, so a lot of these general messages can be beneficial to you. And if you're a subscriber, then you can ask your question, okay? Is my mom okay? Yes, your mom is more than okay. And I feel she sends you many blessings. Okay, so I'm feeling a lot of heaviness here all of a sudden. So we also have the Emperor popping up again, okay? Um, and I kind of, I'm getting a lot of pressure in my third eye and in the back of my head. I'm also seeing something, somebody who is like violent or someone who is in a victim of violence or something like that. Um... That's just, I'm just getting a flash of it. It doesn't feel like a car accident. It feels more like something that somebody, something that somebody literally actually did to someone. I don't know if this relates to anyone. Hello, Luli. Welcome in. So we're doing 2024 readings. So they're $30 or um, as a subscriber, we'll, we'll do a quick mini message for you. Happy New Year. So... If you have a question as well, we can focus on that. I hope everything is going well with you. So you have three of air here, okay? So three usually represents celebration, right? But also three represents finalizing decisions. So I kind of relate this a little bit more to some type of decision that you recently made. Um, and I know you, you were just moving in, with someone. Actually, I think you were in my dream the other night. Um, and so air is like our continuous thinking, okay? So you've got a lot of stuff going on. Definitely getting into your head a little bit, 
but then there's another part of you that's very open. So it's like you're super open and then you kind of pull back a little bit at times. So my encouragement for you would be to stop pulling back. And even if things aren't easy for you, just keep going. And so maybe a 2024 mantra for you could be, it's okay not to be okay, something like that. Hello, good evening. So readings are $30, guys. You can pay underneath my profile, my link tree, or you can subscribe to get a quick mini reading, okay? Usually your first time in, I do a little bit more for you, okay? Um, you also have the page of earth here. I feel like You've just got to just have a lot of chatter here, really. And so I would say that I don't know how you're going to start shutting your, your mind off, but um, laughter is coming up, sexual energy is coming up, writing is coming up. I feel like because you're so intuitive, you get a lot of um, messages. But then you also, it feels like it, you get overwhelmed by that too. So maybe that's why I'm suggesting the writing because when you're receiving intuitive information, it can come through in writing. So if it's just journaling about, you know, your 2024 goals, something like that, you might find that you, you get like hits or waves of intuitive messages. Okay, so I call that channeled writing, basically, free writing. Um, so like I do, th I can do that all the time. So when I do a reading, I can just write out a paragraph and this is, this is what people are, are supposed to know. So for instance, I could do that right now. Okay. And we'll see what people need to know. Actually, I'll do it for you. How about that? Yeah. You don't even have to go into your energy for it. Not sure why that's happening. You need to tell her to stay strong. So that was that's the message that's coming through for you. So just simply like that. I didn't think about it, and so I think that's what would be a really great exercise for you to continue to practice is just not thinking when you're writing. That's what I love about writing is we don't think. And so the second you start to think about what you're writing is when you're essentially like not in that intuitive energy anymore. So creativity is an intuitive process, right? If we're painting and doing like an intuitive, an intuitive painting um, and you start thinking about it and it's like, oh, I want to create a tree or I want to create a person. What you really want to do is not think. And so maybe that's hard for you to do sometimes, but really it's so much easier than, than what we're making it. So I would say don't overcomplicate things. Okay. All right, guys. So we don't see any payments for readings. Okay. Uh, we'll just do a few more cards here. I was on doing free reading. You're welcome. I'm happy I was able to chat with you. Um, we did tons of free readings earlier. I was on for two hours, so I'm working on downloading that video so I can get it up underneath YouTube. Okay. Also, please make sure you're following me underneath my other social media. I also do free readings there. I've been hemming and hawing about where I'm supposed to go to do some readings, but it's starting to get a little bit late. So I think over the next few days, I'll be doing more uh, live readings and getting more in touch. Okay. No. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So more general messages here as we transition out of here. Six talks about this big release that you're going through right now. It feels like you're really going through a time in your life where you're really learning to use that third eye. Um, and it says memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. I just see this card as you kind of trusting yourself more, honestly. And trusting the relationships that you're already in. When I see this card, it doesn't feel like a new relationship starting. It just feels like trusting the people that you already have. Sometimes we do want new, 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 new. When the, it can come across that we're not content with what we have, 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 have. So to maintain your vibration, I would say right now, focus on the quality people that are already in your life. Okay. Then we also have Page of Earth. Um, Page talks about a young 
energy or a young person. And it really talks about our potential as well. It says, good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. I feel like, Lily, you can relate to this card here as well. This talks a little bit more about patience and um, sometimes feeling a little annoyed about how things aren't coming in in the time frame that we want it to come in. And we're also seeing this with Jess's energy about this need to um, focus more on divine timing. I'm also right now feeling like uh, there's someone I'm supposed to talk to about body shaming. Um, yes, I did. I went into the Akashic Records with setting the intention that all the messages that came through would be resonating with everybody here. Uh, but readings are $30. If you're interested in purchasing one, you can pay through my You'll see my profile and then in my link tree. Okay. All right. So let's transition out of the records now. I always like to send gratitude for the beautiful healing messages that came through because I've, I've been on here already. I feel like it's time for me to peace out. And I'm wishing you guys all a beautiful rest of your New Year's. And we will see you again soon. I am going to do my best to start getting a schedule going so that way you guys can know when I'm coming on and I can give you more details about that however right now I just kind of hop in and out because we've been quite busy uh, here doing a million things but I am looking with my new year to get on track with having that consistency so again it's easy for people to find me because I know that that causes an issue for for quite a few people when they don't know that I'm on right so love you guys so much and take care and bye for now